this is going to be my main sort of go out to the woods and hike around gear setup. Uh, it's just the Maxpedition Sabre Cat on the Canadian military web gear setup. And I got the Maxpedition FR1 pouch connected to it here. Uh, basically got it connected here with carabiners and I'm going to replace that with something else that I have on order right now that hopefully will work better and won't be so big and the other strap is just a buckle with Maxpedition Tacti on it it works really well I wish I could figure out a better way to get this to work as a buckle also but I'll have to try and figure that out let's check this out I don't know, basically the front of the uh, Sabercat got attached uh, Ontario Rat 3. It's just with a tech lock strapped onto this strap here. So that's basically how that is. And then I got my FR1 pouch and it's all connected up with the Blackhawk speed clips. They work really well. And, well it's dig into the bag. Alright, so inside my saber cat, basically what I got is do this pocket pocket. So I got my uh, K bar TDI. Love this knife, had it for a long time. Got right in the rain notepad. Some Hot hand things. And just a little bit of first aid, a couple bandages, alcohol swabs, nothing big. That's basically it in that pocket. Uh, side pocket. Here, uh, I got some Oop. lots of paracord, three bundles, about 75 feet, I think, and two 25 foot ones. Maybe that's a yeah, I think it's 50 feet, maybe. I'm not sure. Enough, and I got WD 40 and just a pair of uh, extra pair of boot laces in there in case the boot laces ever break. And this side. Got here is just basically a little plastic container. It's just got a whole bunch of stuff in there. Some fire starter, Candles, thread, uh, different metal pieces, different buckles and D rings in case any of that falls apart. Pencil sharpener, crazy glue, safety pins. Yeah. Good amount of stuff in case something happens. And in here in the main pocket. Got my uh, BK2, great knife. Got my cup. Got some cleaning stuff for the cup and a bit of rice. And then I got one of those folding stoves. Folding camp stove things. I found it at Walmart for like five bucks or something like that. Pretty good of a try. And uh, let's see, I uh, got another pot here. Found at a second hand store, like a dollar or something like that. Can't go wrong with that. And it's got some pieces of fabric, cotton headlamp, and uh, 
fire starter. Other than that, just got a pair of fingerless leather gloves. And that's pretty much it for in there. Oh, in this pocket here. Just got. I bought the harness and the web gear and on the inside it had this knife fork spoon combination which I thought was a pretty decent score didn't know it was in there until I brought it home can't complain about that three pieces also the canteen cup was in there too pretty awesome score 20 bucks or something and got a whole bunch of pouches and a belt and that stuff the top here, I just got a folding saw, and in here we got a uh, long candle, some batteries, some tongs, zip ties, one of those towels, just a little towel that you folds out, you get it wet and it expands huge. Got this little thing, it's sort of a it's a 10 in 1 survival tool. I just mostly got it for the compass and the fact that it had a ferro rod and striker and a whistle. I was like, yeah, that, that sounds like a good plan to me. Yeah, the compass works. It's got a little level in there and the magnifying glass. Always use a magnifying glass. The top part's also a mirror, so that works out well. Lots of, just like, 10 bucks or something like that. And everything works, so why not? I got hand sanitizer, flashlight, and lighter. I'm not sure what else I'd really need to add. I am looking to get a, a multi tool, probably. The Leatherman Wave, everybody seems to like that thing a lot, so probably go with that when I get some extra cash. And let's see here. Maybe I'll save this for another video. Just get a peek inside. That's just basically where I keep all my tools and stuff like that. That I might just want to just take this pack alone somewhere and I'd be okay if something were to happen, sort of deal. Yeah, I'll save this one for go through that in another video.